course, clearing the distance between yourself and the attacker. One of the things I haven't, one of the concepts I haven't talked about tonight is distance or mind. And often it's, concerned, it's, it's uh, translated into English as competitive distance. So in order to defend against a stabbing weapon or a punch or a bladed weapon, in fact, any attack, when one comes to think about it, the distance is very important in terms of making the timing right in order to create a technique. And as you'll see tonight, all the practitioners will make, will draw a field of distance between them and their partner when they take their stance, such that if the person even tried to kick or punch from where they were standing, they couldn't reach. This is, this is the concept of my or combative distance. Now what that means is that from this position, before they slide in, the <coughs> practitioner is safe and he'll have to, his opponent will have to step in in order to close the distance to then become a threat. <coughs> this demonstration of Uryote Mochi Jiwaza, or double hand of grab Jiwaza, is a very good way for develop, a method of developing sensitivity and also learning how to break your partner's balance. And of course, Aikido being a traditional Japanese martial art, a modern form of a traditional Japanese martial art, um, of course, we have seated techniques or suwariwaza techniques. So there are a lot of throwbacks to older systems that Aikido inherits from. And some of them don't always make sense to someone who doesn't do the art. But things are kept in Aikido that don't make sense to the practitioners and the teachers who have made it what it is to be. Indeed, the idea of economy of... Uh, of movement, economy of what we use and what we don't use in Aikido. This is a very strong part of the martial art. So generally, unlike many martial arts, there's no, there are no fancy flourishes. Everything is done with a purpose. <laughs>